A koi pond, kids playground, pool area with jacuzzi and stunning 180 degree views of Johannesburg North are but a few of the incredible features this classic family home in the heart of Bryanston boasts. Sitting on a plot of land just shy of 4,000 square meters and it could all be yours for 10,990,000 rand. So let me take you through a tour of your next best decision. Coming through the rustic wood door, you find yourself in a cozy entrance hall that leads off to one of the three seating areas. This is a house that, out of all the homes we filmed on this channel, just oozes comfort and relaxation with a premium touch that never feels intimidating. The sitting area we're in currently houses a two-way fireplace and has a riverstone feature wall with wrought iron finishes throughout as well as incredible bay windows overlooking your garden. We are now led seamlessly into the informal dining room area and you'll also find the second sitting room. This area is all about light, air and sound with stackable farmhouse doors leading directly onto your pool and patio and a wrought iron chandelier centerpiece making the perfect talking point of this house. The owner of this home told me it has a room for everyone. And this room right here houses a built-in bar with Midwestern finishes throughout, as well as wood rafters running along the ceiling and a seating area that is reminiscent of small town pubs, which makes it the perfect place to drink away a Friday evening with friends. Adjoining the bar area is our formal dining room area, which shares the fireplace with the lounge and opens up onto your koi pond. This formal dining room area, along with the rest of the house, has plenty of space for even the biggest family dinners. If you're buying this house, we're expecting an invite. A hallway leading off to the left of your formal dining room area leads you to two of the six bedrooms within this stunning country home. The first bedroom makes a perfect guest bedroom or even office or play area with plenty of cupboard space and bay windows giving you a perfect overlook of that fantastic koi pond. You can't go fishing there though, naughty naughty. The second of the two bedrooms located in the downstairs area is bigger, more spacious, but also gives you those bay windows that look out not only to the koi pond, but also to your garden area located at the front side of the house. Love the bay windows, love that they incorporate in so many rooms throughout this house because it does bring an original feeling that's very hard to come by within Bryanston. This bedroom as well has an ensuite bathroom with a jacuzzi hot tub, walk-in shower, vanity, and extra large mirror with windows built in. There are two guest toilets located on the bottom floor of this home. This one right here has a walk-in shower, vanity, and toilet. This is the second bathroom located downstairs, perfectly situated to cater to all of the rooms and designed around a beach theme. It perfectly complements the remainder of the house and the air and light it brings. Now coming through your saloon doors, you'll find yourself in a kitchen that is almost over-equipped. Now I know I've said it before, but with two cooktops, one gas, one electric, three ovens, three sinks, a large breakfast nook that has easy access to your patio, as well as a pantry and plenty, plenty of covered space. This is a kitchen that could easily rival even the best restaurants in the area.
You've got imported black marble countertops with an extractor fan situated right above your electric hob. Now there's light all over this kitchen, both natural as well as your electric lights with down lighting situated everywhere you'd need it. Moving on to our breakfast nook, there's plenty of space here for extra shelving, some of it's built in and it leads off, as I'd mentioned, to your outside area that includes an outside breakfast nook where you can enjoy the sounds and sights of your garden and the many fountains throughout the land. Coming up to the second floor, you'll find yourself in the third and final reception area. Now this room has so many possibilities and you can really let your imagination go wild with what to do here. And I'll tell you exactly why I feel that way. The first is this wrought iron fireplace. So rare to find two separate fireplaces in one home. And number two is one of the coolest features in this house and that is the windows recess into the vaulted ceiling that you can open up, let this area get flooded with fresh air, lots of natural light. And there's another very quirky feature about this area right here. And that is the window behind me, which lets you look down onto your formal dining room area. Now, there are four bedrooms located on the second floor and we're gonna show you each of them. Come on, let's go. And here we are within the first of the four bedrooms located upstairs. I really hope pink is my color, but how cool is this swinging chair mounted to the ceiling? Now this bedroom has patio access and that patio is a wraparound. So every single bedroom upstairs has access to that patio. This bedroom also has an ensuite bathroom with a freestanding stone tub, shower, double vanity, and the ceiling of this bathroom is really carefully curated with bamboo lining. Now it's very very cool looking, one that you don't see very often. This house is unique in that all upstairs bedrooms have ample space. There's a lot of room here so there's a lot of room to do things. One is this bedroom that we're in currently has also space for a study. So thus making them offices perfectly situated for that. Another thing to remember is all of these bedrooms have ample cupboard space so you're never gonna have to worry about where to store your items. Coming out of the bedroom onto this patio is an incredible experience. And this patio is extra length, boardwalk style, and it gives you 180 degree views all the way across four ways, Douglas Dale, down to Cresta and Northcliffe Hill. And that view on its own is worth double the asking price. Moving right from the first bedroom we filmed, we find ourselves into the second of the four bedrooms located upstairs. And this bedroom right now is currently made up as an office space which takes perfect use of the views that we would currently mentioned. Sitting behind that desk, I don't know how much work you're gonna get done, but this could also serve as a perfect bedroom for a young child. Use your imagination. This house, as I'd mentioned, has got so much space, you're really not gonna be hard pressed to find good use for it. Here we are within the third bedroom. Before we show you the finale, the master suite. And this bedroom, it's very nice to observe just how big it is. Again, sharing that characteristic with the other bedrooms upstairs. It also enjoys that incredible view. I cannot get enough of this view. I think the owner's gonna have some trouble kicking me out today. The bathroom servicing the two middle bedrooms upstairs also has plenty of space. It has a freestanding bathtub as well as a walk-in shower with an extra large vanity mirror and plenty of undercounter storage. Through these white chapel doors, you find yourself within the master bedroom. This is the biggest bedroom out of the four bedrooms located upstairs and it is also, in my opinion, the nicest. It shares that same absolutely breathtaking view across Four Ways and Douglas Dale through its double French doors, but it has a couple of unique aspects. The first is off to my left. That is the ensuite bathroom that is extra special for this master suite. And on my right is the walk-in wardrobe. Let's show you those two things a walk-in closet and your very own walk-in closet located right there in the master bedroom. Take a look at the space that you can all enjoy if you decide to make this purchase yours. 
Now the style doesn't stop when you walk into the ensuite bathroom of the master bedroom. Now this bathroom has a walk through shower, not a walk in shower, but a walk through shower. So if you're in a rush, you're going to use that. But if you're not in a rush, there's an extra large freestanding pebble bath for you to sit down and soak in while you angle your plantation shutters just right to provide you with a perfect amount of privacy. That bath also has a fantastic stone feature wall that I really, really like. Again, going into all the fittings of this house, so much thought has been made into it. There's also a double vanity with two separate wash basins, a big mirror. You can really see yourself in this bathroom and enjoy it. And just off to the right hand side in the corner is a separate toilet. Situated off the house, you'll find yourself a one bedroom, one bathroom cottage and some beautiful puppies. Now this cottage is extra large. This is around about the size of a normal one bedroom house. So you can do with it as you'd like. Either rent it out as an Airbnb, which is what the current owner is doing, or you can turn this into a business. There is also four staff rooms along with their own adjacent bathroom. So those staff rooms are sandwiched right next to this cottage. You've got plenty of space here to do with it as you may. A lot of businesses could find this perfect usage to create your own practice here. Coming onto the patio, you're greeted by expansive rolling greens, feature fountains and the jacuzzi, all centralized around the pool area. Moving down the lawn, you'll find a kiddies play area, fire pit and your very own pizza oven. If we talk in entertainment areas, we'll be hard pressed to find any in Bryanston that come close to what's on offer here. And that is everything this incredible house in Bryanston has to offer. Now it is retailing for 10,990,000 rand. And if this is the home for you, I'd like you to contact Charlene Negus from First Realty. All of her details are on screen right now and arrange a viewing. So from myself, Chad Riveros, the team at Private Property and these two pups, thank you so much. And we will see you next time.